Climate change and its consequences know no borders. Its causes can be traced to every corner of the world and its effects are becoming progressively noticeable worldwide. Therefore, effective climate protection must be tackled globally. An important date is the 21st of March 1994, when the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change entered into force. This agreement, which has since been ratified by 196 states, aims to limit the human-induced disruption of the climate system. Since then, the UN Climate Change Conference has taken place annually. Its goal is to substantiate the commitments of the Convention, to strengthen them if necessary, and to evaluate progress. The 1997 meeting in Kyoto was an important milestone. The Kyoto Protocol established the first binding emissions targets for greenhouse gases in industrialized countries under international law. It came into force on the 16th of February 2005. The Paris Agreement was adopted on the 12th of December 2015. It is a pioneering treatment that establishes regulations and voluntary commitments for all states. The international community agreed to limit human-induced global warming to well below 2 degrees and possibly to 1.5 degrees compared to pre-industrial levels. Reliable data on emissions volumes and sources are an essential prerequisite for verifying the reduction of greenhouse gases. The source and territorial principle is applied to determine the data. The emission sources for all greenhouse gases and air pollutants are determined within national borders. These include, for example, industry, the transport sector or agriculture. Emissions associated with imported products or services are not considered. The results are summarized in an emissions inventory and reported annually to the international community. The German Environment Agency is the responsible authority in Germany that performs this role. Technically, however, it is not possible to measure all emissions directly. Therefore, they're calculated following common international guidelines. The activity rate describes the scope of a certain emissions producing process. For example, the amount of fuels used to generate electricity, the number of animals in agriculture, kilometers covered by the transport sector. The emissions factor indicates the average emission level in relation to their respective activities. For example, per kilometer driven or per ton of coal combusted. The activity rate multiplied by the emission factor results in the emission level. However, this simple calculation must take into account many other parameters, both in practice and for each greenhouse gas. For road transport, these parameters include the type of vehicle, the fuel consumption, the type of engine, the type of after-treatment system, the size of the cylinder capacity, where the transport takes place, or even the purpose of the transport. Determining national emissions is therefore a complex and elaborate process. However, this data forms the essential foundation for the planning and targeted implementation of climate protection measures.